like people always tell you like it's useless no if it makes you happy it's not useless i don't think it needs to be useful for it to make me happy there are a lot of worse <laughs> things that i could be addicted to but thank god it's just k-pop <laughs> When the fan sign albums come, my mom always tells me, this is the last time. I'm trying to make this the last time also. They know there are other things, worse things that I can be addicted to, other than K-pop. So as long as it makes me happy and I spend within my means, they are okay with it. If you really want to talk to them once and you have the money to spend, then just go for it. It's a fun thing to do once in a while. A lot of people do it when they don't have the means to. Then you shouldn't do it in that sense. I don't feel very justified spending my parents' money on K-pop stuff. It's very different being spoiled and being entitled. I heard that some parents are actually very supportive for it. Like I have a friend, she does well, then her parents will reward her with helping her buy 50 albums. If your parents are willing to do it and it's like a reward or a reinforcement for your good behaviour, then I think it's fine. It's a hobby that, you know, it just makes me happy. Actually, it doesn't hurt anyone. Just let people enjoy their stuff. As I grew up, I realised there are a lot of other things that I need to spend my money on. When I was a teenager, I could just spend all the money I had on K-pop. I don't collect everything like I did last time. I'm not selling because I'm a bit of a hoarder. So all the work I put in to get it, like sourcing from overseas and everything, and then I just let it go. <sighs> I'll keep it as like a dedication to my youth. It was really like what I spent a lot of my time doing. So yeah, good for the memory. You can prioritize K-pop, but like other things should be more important, like like food, your friends, your family. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>